our new C-Series comes with a brand new remote. I'm going to show you how to use this remote, but I'm also going to do a comparison of our existing line of remotes as well. The TRC5 is our latest line of remotes that comes with a C-Series. It offers a few new buttons and some capabilities that don't exist in our existing line, the TRC3. As you can tell, they share a resemblance, but you can also tell the coloring is a little bit different and we have some additional buttons, which reference the additional functionality that we'll be covering. Looking at the remote on the top, you're going to see five buttons that arch across. They do serve functions for the remote, however, they are programmable keys as well. As we go down the remote on the top left hand corner, you're going to see a mic cancellation button. When you push it and the mic is canceled, you get an icon referencing that the microphone is off. Push it again, mic comes back on. To the right of it, it's got a presentation button. If you push it and your PC is connected and pushing an image, it will actually present that presentation for you. When you're done with the presentation, push it again and you are now back to your original screen. If you were actually in a call, you'd be seeing whomever you're speaking with. Moving further down, on the left side, you see volume up, volume down. So push up, you'll see an icon letting you know the volume is going up. Push down, you see the opposite. To the right, you're going to see a zoom button. If you push up or down, it brings your image up. Moving down takes a camera away. Pushing up gets you closer. The five buttons that were just referenced, on the bottom, you've seen these tabs popped up. So if you wanted to do some of these functionality, they are now available. So the second one would be camera preset, the third one would be camera settings, etc. The buttons obviously disappear after a few seconds, or you can push on the top right and hit exit. As we move further down, we're going to see a directory. Push that icon in your directory show up. Now the directory module is actually very cool because I don't have to go to individual folders. I can just start typing letters, for example, A, U, K. I'm looking for a colleague, Scott Akima, but when I put AUK, I didn't have to pick a directory. It just found him by his last name. If I want to take this menu off or just go to the main screen, I use the button to the right, the home button. It takes me here, or I can push it again and clear everything off. To the right of that, you're going to see a layout button. Push that and it brings up an option to show self-view or the wallpaper. In this scenario, we see the wallpaper, but by pushing that and hitting OK, I get my self-view. If I want to take that off the screen, same scenario, and I can take it off the screen. Moving further down, this is not going to look familiar to you because it's very much like your cell phone. On the left, you're going to see a green button, so you would push the button, find whoever you're looking for, whether in the directory or a manual type, and just push the green button again and you'd be in a call. To end that call, you'd push the button to the right, which is the red one with the hand set down, and you would actually end the call that you would be in. The C button between the green and red button allows you to act as a backspace. So let's say you were about to call somebody and you push the green button and you start putting in some numbers or information and you make a mistake, the C button will help you delete that mistake so you can correct it. As we go further down the keypad, the numbers are pretty obvious. That's how you used to dial. However, sometimes there's a question, how do I punch in that at or the dot if I was going to dial somebody via you know, their IP? There's a couple of ways to do this. If you hit the green button and you want to put in someone's information, you start typing. To the right of the 555 that I just typed, you notice it says 123. If I hold down the pound for a few seconds, it becomes ABC, turning my number one into different characters. It could be a period or it could be an at. Another way of doing this is if you look to the bottom of the screen where the five tabs have popped up, the very first one says A, B, and C. You can push that as well and it'll turn it back to numbers and you can continue typing as you may need to do so.